Arguably the most important trim sheet UV tool is Unwrap Trim, which takes a selection in edit mode, unwraps it, and then aligns it with a specific trim in a trim sheet. The tool is accessed from the Edit Mode Pi menu, which unlike the Object Mode Pi, displays only the trim sheets, not the decal libraries. But just as in Object Mode, you can call the tool using either the plus button, or from inside a trim sheet library. Keep an eye on the current material. It's a simple PBR material with just a principled BSDF shader node in it. To run the Unwrap Trim tool, make a selection and pick one of the trims in the trim sheet library. First notice how the material has been replaced and is now a trim sheet material. This sheet material was matched to the previous PBR material and so looks identical to it. Check out the init trim sheet material tool for more information on matching trim sheet materials. Unwrap trim basically acts like the init trim sheet material tool in object mode. Second, you can see how the unselected faces have also seemingly been affected. They actually haven't, but the cube had existing UVs and they cover major parts of the trim sheet textures now. To avoid this, and to avoid the additional step of running the Unwrap to Empty Trim tool, you can just run Unwrap Trim with the Alt key pressed. This should then only be done when you define the first trim of an object, as otherwise, you'd get rid of any existing trim detail. All the other faces are now unwrapped to this small section, which is the empty trim of this sheet. Unwrap Trim is a modal tool, which gives you a few options to modify its behavior, before committing to the changes. If you scroll the mouse with the tool active, you can adjust the UV rotation. By default this is in 90 degree steps, but you can go smaller using the Shift, and Shift plus Control modifier keys, as explained in the modal hints. And if you scroll with the Control key pressed, you can change the trim itself. Finally, with the F and Shift F keys, you can change how the unwrap selection fits the trim. There are different modes, like Auto, Stretch, Fit Inside and Fit Outside. Auto should be the perfect choice in 99% of the cases, but having options never hurts. For detailed trims like this, Auto is the same as Stretch, which will make whatever selection you have, stretch to the bounding box of the trim in UV space, creating a perfect fit, but ignoring the aspect ratio. Fit Inside, will keep the selection's unwrapped aspect ratio, and fit it into the trim. This may result in some parts of the trim being cut off. Fit Outside, will also keep the aspect ratio, but some nearby trims may now also be covered by the unwrapped faces. Both of these are maybe more obvious, if I also rotate by 90 degrees. Fit inside. And fit outside. But as I said, auto is usually the best choice. And this may be obvious, but you can of course always cut faces specifically for your trims. Now, as explained in the trim sheet creation video, there is a different kind of trim, called panel trim, which like panel decals, repeats horizontally. Panel trims are treated a bit differently by the unwrap trim tool. As you can see, with fit set to auto, they don't stretch to fit into the trim. Instead the unwrapped aspect ratio is maintained, and the selection is positioned and uniformly scaled in a way, that it perfectly covers the height of a panel trim. In essence, auto for panel trims means, fit inside or fit, outside, is chosen automatically. And as a result the selection may go beyond the bounds of the UV space. But that's fine, as the trims repeat horizontally.
fit inside does not cover the entire height of the trim here. And stretch doesn't maintain the aspect ratio. Fit outside works perfectly though, and is also what Otto has chosen. With a very short selection like this, fit outside is clearly not the correct choice however, but fit, inside, is, and again this is what Otto picked as well. On this cube, I've only unwrapped all quad selections to panel trims. This is the ideal case, and working with all quad selections when using panel trims, will make your life a lot easier, even if it means you need to temporarily remove or add some cuts. Here's an example where there's one end gone in the selection. And for a simple case like this, the unwrap trim tool will still manage to unwrap it properly. Note however the orange warning in the modal HUD. This is just to let you know there could be issues. If there are any, you should be able to see it directly in the 3D view. But all is fine in this case here. It depends on the trim design itself, how well a cutout like this works, of course. The reason unwrap trim can unwrap this selection properly, is because Blender's unwrap tool can too, at least if it's not cyclic. If the selection is cyclic, Blender's unwrap tool will fail, but the unwrap trim tool will take care of this for you. Here is a similar situation, but this time it will fail. The reason for that is, that the object tapers off, and as a result Blender's unwrap tool doesn't produce a straight unwrap. So due to the object's taper, the UVs are curved. One approach to deal with this, is to simply remove the end gons temporarily, then unwrap the all quad selection, then reproduce the cut again. To conclude this, here's more of a real world example, although the mesh is already finished, and so you don't see me doing the cuts to delimit the trims here. And by the way, like any modal tool in decal machine, you finish it using the left mouse button or the space bar, or you cancel the tool using the escape key or the right mouse button. Note that, if you start with a panel trim, you will only scroll through the other panel trims of that sheet. And it's the same with the detail trims. You will never scroll from a panel trim to a detail trim, they are treated separately.
This selection contains n gons again, but unwraps just fine anyway, just as in the cube example. Note that you can only ever unwrap one selection island at a time. If there are multiple islands, unwrap trim will keep the one with the most faces, and deselect the others. Detailed trims will always be left with their border edges marked as seams. This simplifies reselection, if you want to adjust things later. You could in theory just mirror or symmetrize this mesh now, to bring the detail over to the other sides. But since the example sheet has a height map and so uses parallax, this will produce some shading issues. I demonstrate how to deal with these in the video for the mirror trim tool. This gate is included in the examples, and you can get to it from the help panel, if you want to take a closer look and study it.